Nissan says it's it's got a game-changing battery. It will change the company. It will basically save the company. Now, you guys know what I think of Nissan. You know that I believe that Nissan will be purchased most likely by a company such as Geely. Who knows? Maybe BYD will even purchase them. Well, maybe not. I mean, maybe they won't need to or even want to. I mean, realistically, Nissan, they're not really a name. They're not really that desirable anymore. To be honest, when you say BYD or Nissan, what, what do you think? Well, what car would, you know, in terms of brand, what would you prefer? I know what I'd prefer. That's definitely BYD. Well, Nissan's new battery, um, they're saying it's going to be available by 2028, but journalists, um, they don't actually believe them. Journalists are saying, give us some proof. Give, show us this battery. Show us what you're doing. Um, give us a time frame. What are your plans? How are you going to do this? And Nissan, well, they don't want to provide an answer. They don't want to provide any real facts. They did kind of, in a, a fishy way, say what I'm about to share with you. But I don't know. Guys, do you believe this stuff? I mean, does this make sense? Does this sound like Nissan's being honest? I don't think it does. I can clearly see a lot of journalists don't think it does either, but they kind of can't go out and blatantly say this because Nissan pays the bills. Uh, Legacy you auto pay the bills still. That could change. Nissan say they're committing to a launch of battery EVs that will basically save the company by reducing costs by 50%. I mean, really, is a solid state battery going to be 50% cheaper than a high energy density lithium ion phosphate version three Shenzhen battery from Cadle that'll charge in 10 minutes? I mean, I don't really think that's going to be likely, but Nissan say it will. And they say that these solid state batteries will be, well, they'll have a factory producing a, potentially a huge number of them. Now, that factory has not yet been built, I should point out, but this is Nissan's roadmap. Um, they have pilot line operations. They say they have a pilot line. In fact, they say that they've had a pilot line since 2022, but the actual operations of the pilot line won't begin until this year. At some point, they haven't begun yet. Um, a test prototype car will be on the road in 2026. So for some reason, they're saying they've had a prototype battery. They've actually made this solid state battery, which they won't show to anyone. They're saying they've had this since 2022. They won't show it, like I said. They're saying that their pilot line has been was built in 2022, which I presumably built this battery, but the pilot line, um, well, operations won't start until this year. Uh, a test prototype car will be on the road in 2026. Now, my question is, if they have these batteries or if these batteries will be produced this year, why wait till 2026 to actually test them in a car? I mean, if you're betting the company on a product is say, saying this will save the company. Surely, as soon as you have the, the battery, which is presumably since 2022, you'd want to test it straight away. Yeah, like you'd want to have this in your car straight away, right? You'd want to go, oh, phew, like it does work. Yeah, okay, great. But they're not going to do that. They're going to wait four years to test it in a car. Prototype car with this battery, 2026 is what they say. Now, when asked if they're programming, if they're Basically, the journalists were like, yeah, uh, we call bullshit. Basically, that's what they're saying. They said, is this aspirational or a finalized schedule? Uh, Francois Bailey, senior vice president uh, for Nissan, said this, it's a plan and we need to respect it and deliver it. So far, that's where we are. We have the pilot line. We have it. Uh, we'll have it in 2024. We had it in 2022. I don't know. Guys, no one really knows. That's the truth. I don't know if Nissan even know. The pilot line has been established at Nissan's Yokohama plant in Japan, say Nissan, since 2022, and the technology will be a big step in Nissan's EV future. They say it's a an absolute game changer. Batteries are 40 to 45% of the total cost of the vehicle. So this means a 50% lower cost. Guys, 50% lower cost. They're saying um, the battery is 40 to 45% of the cost of the vehicle. Now that would only be the case if you're talking about, uh, say for example, the Hummer, the Hummer EV, which is enormous, has a 200 kilowatt hour size battery pack. Now those are, that's an expensive battery, no doubt. 
Same thing with Neo's new semi solid state battery. It's still not in their vehicles yet. We Lion are meant to be making it. Uh, that is an expensive battery, which would make up, it does make up 40 to 45% of the cost of the car, but that's it. There's only really a couple of vehicles EVs made worldwide where the battery cost is 40 to 45%. The battery cost of the average car today is actually 20 to 25% of the vehicle cost. It's nowhere near what it used to be. And that's very, very clear when you look at the cost declines of batteries from 2010 to 2024, the cost of batteries has come down by more than 90%. Huge difference. That's why EVs are so common. That's why Tesla can actually make a profit selling an EV for $50,000 Australian dollars or 35,000 US dollars. That would not have been possible in 2010. It just was not possible then. And that's why the, the battery pack price is not what Nissan are telling us. It's not 40 to 45%. No one is quoting that figure because that's completely false. So I, I do question the validity of Nissan's claims here. If they believe the cost of the battery is 40 to 45%, or if that's the cost for them today, they're the only car company in the world that are clearly overpaying for their batteries. Aria's existing battery is liquid-based and the move to ASSB will improve 20 to 80% charging time by 25% by 2026 and 50% by 2028. Three times better charging time. Now the current speed of the Nissan Aria battery, its charging time is 130 kilowatt, right? That would mean Nissan are saying that by 2030, their EVs with solid state batteries can charge at 390 kilowatt, saying they're gonna triple the charging speed. Now, if they were capable of doing that, that would mean in 2030, their charging speed for their batteries would be slower than one of the cheapest batteries you can already buy today, right? Cadle's Shensing battery, which is in a lot of EVs already. Uh, Zika have it, uh, Geely using it, like I said. That battery pack will charge at 550 kilowatt now. That's cheap, it's available now, it's lithium ion phosphate, it's safe, it's not solid state, it lasts for a very long time. We know that Cadle's batteries, their, C8, their lithium ion phosphate batteries last for a long time in BOD cars, sorry, not in BODs, in Tesla vehicles, in numerous different vehicles made all around the world, and that's now. It's not in six years from today. It charges faster than this theoretical battery from Nissan, which Nissan say is gonna be game changing. Nissan are so far behind, it's ridiculous. The other problem here is that they're just completely talking nonsense. I don't think they really know what's going on in the industry. What, what's China doing? Uh, what are our competition doing? They're just hoping that this wishful thinking, this prayer, will maybe convince investors to, I don't know, stick with the company, um, not keep on selling Nissan stock. I'm not sure, guys. Whatever the case may be, Nissan's plan is not a plan. It's a wish.